Well, what's up there, guys? Check this out, man. How fitting to fucking find this beautiful classic in its own right. A 79 to 85 Cadillac Eldorado. When I happened to be listening to Angela Clemens in my ears, which I think was an early 80s hit, the song Give Me Just a Little More Time, which was actually a cover of the Foundation's original. Oh, she's a driver. She's dirty. That's good. She's enjoyed not sitting around. This is a typical old car where for you guys who are millennials, you don't know. You can buy these cars for peanuts practically. Get one that's not perfect. That's in good mechanical condition, transmission, engine. And you have a good reliable General Motors product. Probably with a 350 V8. Try to avoid the 4.1 fuel injection motor. Those were uh, troublesome things. Very original condition. Can't really put a year on it. Like I said, 79 to 85. I think they're all pretty much exactly alike. Even in 79, you could get silver on any GM car. 1979 to 80. Yeah. But, uh, you know, it's funny, as cool as I love Cadillacs, I like all Cadillacs, even the Cimarron, which came out in about these years, 82. Um, I would never buy one of these cars. Uh, I, I mean, I like them, but I don't love them. I love the Sedan de Ville, the Fleetwood Brome, etc. Actually, walking up to it, I thought it was. That's what it was. I thought it was a Sedan de Ville or a Fleetwood Brome, you know. And uh, I'm not sure this car is from the city because the hood ornament is still on it. That would have been stolen uh by now, you know. It's too bad the lighting for it is not the best, eh? for me anyway. Still nice to see though, beyond all these fucking boring, painfully dull cars. Yeah, a Bucati, a nice Cadillac. This is funny actually, because I know a guy who has a, a, a Fleetwood Brome around here in Brosmo somewhere. Nice guy too. Interior is beautiful. Very nice interior. You know, typical gray and gray or gray and silver. Yeah. Got the duct tape over here. <laughs> yeah. I guess it's to hold the filler pieces in place. Those of you who don't know, you know. The pieces over here between the bumper and the trunk lid all around here, these were called filler pieces and they're plastic and they fucking break easily. They're crap. And they break in... Uh, disintegrate easily specifically in the southern states where it gets really really hot actually you know what's funny come to think of it I'm going to turn off my music here so I can think but in one of my all time favorite movies the movie Casino Robert De Niro drives this exact same Eldorado same color I think the same wire wheel covers that's cool, man. You know, I mean, that's, uh, of course, the car blows up. I'm sure it's not the same one that blows up, but, uh, oh, I like that pattern on the seats. Look at that. Very original. Anyway, like I said, just a great old car you can get for, like, you know, a few thousand bucks. And, uh, wow, what the hell is this? Oxygard. Antiroi. I like that. That's, that's old school, man. Yeah, power antenna. Oh yeah, one more thing. Check this out. You had these directional lights on the fenders back in the day, right? Like these would show you your high beams were on. The turn signals also, these would light up here on the sides and the turn signal light wouldn't be indicator that it was on. All these little things, these things that make up for the big thing. That's why we love old cars. And I, by the way, I'd like to end at this point by mentioning, I was watching a video recently, a guy made of a 57 DeSoto adventure one of the most incredible cars ever made and he mentioned that the cars of today are these claustrophobia inducing cars oh my fucking god that's one of the most brilliant things i ever heard about modern cars it's true find me any fucking car of today that you're really comfortable in they will never make them like this again these are truly as everybody says the living room on wheels c'est un salon sur des roues even if you buy like my friend he had a base model delta 88 non-royale it's like a living room on wheels, you know? And these cars, I'm telling you, they do it on purpose. It's all done on purpose. It's all part of the fucking scheme. And look at this Audi, you know, whatever. It's a nice car, but whatever the fuck. They, around here, they're a dime a dozen. They're fucking raining these Audi A6s, A4s. Jesus Christ, man. Anyway, c'est ça qui est ça. It is what it is. As I say, I'm happy to find this beautiful 
thing on this gorgeous, beautiful day here. So far, the most beautiful day of the day of the, the year, today being the 8th of May. And I'm gonna keep floating along here and... Uh... Oh yeah, by the way, that's another thing I want to point out. Look, you have these cars here, you could rent these... Uh... I don't know, they're fucking electric. I don't give a shit. These car sharing cars. Look, they're the complete opposite of this bohemian. You know? Isn't that something? I mean, that Cadillac probably gets like, what, 16 miles per gallon on a good day? Anyway, hope you liked it. Bye-bye.